All right, so y'all can't see me, but just know it's me. All right, I'm about to do this video real quick, and post it because <coughs> if I don't know now, I feel like I ain't gonna do it. So, yeah. Which I probably should have this video like a long time ago, but I'm just not doing it. Back up how many times now. Let me get take my seat. Ooh. Almost forgot. Anywho, this is gonna be a review on those products I got to them, right? In this box a while back that I did a that I did a video on. Those African Pride. What is it? African Pride Miracle Moisture Miracle line. I used about everything, just about everything in the line. I'm going to tell you the two things I didn't use in the line to even clear it up. I didn't use the oil because I couldn't get it open. I dug my nail in and everything. Couldn't get it open, so maybe next time. Who knows? I mean, I really ain't a reason to use this oil because this is just like the oil I make. Um, except my size has a little bit more, has more oils in it. Because this one has cash oil, grapeseed, argan oil, coconut, and olive so yeah, mine's are, mine has like a whole lot more, ha, not a whole lot more, but it has more oils in it. Um, so I really don't have no use for this, um, except for if I just feel lazy and not not, not wanting to make my oil. So <clears throat> I didn't use this, um, or whatever. Oh, it has vitamin E in it, just like my oil. So. Gonna keep that off to the side. This right here is the coconut milk honey hydrate and leave-in conditioner. I didn't use this because I don't use these unless I'm like having all my hair out and um what's the word? Having to like revive my curls. That's the only way like this right here, but this is fresh, so like I'll have to spray tomorrow or whatever. You know? <clears throat> so yeah. Boom. Throw that off to the side. So, we're going to do this in order of what I used and what I didn't use and how I used it. Because I know all the stuff I didn't use properly because I just didn't. I'm trying to feel like it a little bit, okay? So, I used the pre-poo. This is the pre-poo right here. It's the aloe and coconut water. Now, the instructions say for you to mix your hair and then put it on your hair. I did not do that. I used it straight out of the jar. Now, this is, I can tell you. It has aloe in it or whatever. And it was moisturizing. I can't say that. Or whatever. And I was shocked. I was like shook. But mind you, I did straighten my hair um, at the beginning of the month. And I literally wore that till I couldn't wear it no more. Y'all seen the last video on my hair was bust disgusted and then some. And just, just, just stiff and all that stuff or whatever. Yeah. This had me using my ends a little. This is why I, I use this on my ends. I didn't use this on my roots. I didn't need it on my roots. I didn't use it on the lift of my hair. Didn't need it on the lift of my hair. I used it on my ends because my ends had reverted back and they was curly or whatever. And I didn't really want any breakage. So I kind of, I just used it on my ends. That was all. Um, and then, you know, uh, to kind of help me a little bit to like separate my hair down the middle. Because I always at least have two sections. So... Didn't use it properly. Maybe I, I'll use it again next time I wash my hair. Um, but yeah, I was kind of impressed. I was, I was, cause this is the first pre-poo I've ever used. Um, store-bought wise, y'all know y'all can use like coconut water pre-poo and all the other good stuff, whatever. But yeah, store-wise or whatever. But I will say, the downfall of using a pre-poo is, um, I had to shampoo my hair twice. I feel like I had to shampoo my hair twice. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, a pre-pro basically is just the is the coat that 
um, strands of hair so that way, you know, your hair don't be stripped when you wash your hair. For me personally, I want my hair to be clean. I don't care if it's stripped because I wash my hair far in between. Uh, <clears throat> Literally, I went this whole month without washing my hair. I might go like two weeks without washing my hair again, depending on how my hair looks. You know what I'm saying? Just me personally, this pre poo, I was not a fan of at all. Um, like I say, I felt like I had no shape of my hair twice. Who knows? All right. Um, so yeah, will I use this again? I most definitely would. This is stuff that I would actually purchase by itself. Um, so yeah, but I most definitely would. A little bit goes a long way as well. So yeah, I like that part up. The heat activating mask. Now I put this on my hair and it started reverting back my hair, which was a okay with me because again, like I said, I had my hair straightened. Now what I didn't care for was the fact that this heat activated is I, listen. If I can't sit my fat ass somewhere and multitask, I don't want it. Have it, keep it. No, I don't want to have to sit up on the dryer to decondition my hair. This is another reason why I kind of personally don't go to salons because, you know, then you got to go there and be there for an extra amount of time because they want to sit you up on the dryer for like 10, 15 minutes and stuff like that. And my hair, and that's traumatizing, I ain't going to lie, because listen, y'all, when I used to sit up on the dryer, I used to sit up on the dryer for a long ass time. Like, I used to sit up on the dryer for an hour last night and my hair still not dry. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, I digress. Okay, so with this right here, Listen, it, it's, it says it detox and softens the hair. I wouldn't use this all the time. I probably use this maybe once every blue moon if I had nothing else because it's heat activating and I can't get down with that. Like, no. Like, if I can't put it in my hair and walk around my house and just leave it be. Because personally, y'all, I don't even, I can't even find plastic caps that fit all my hair up under it. So, yeah, that's not going to work either. So, I'm not about to sit here and be trying to find no plastic cap to put on my head either. So, if I can't put it on my hair and just chill around my house, then um, you stuck. Well, hell, I'll be stuck. Not you because you can still use it. I couldn't. But, yeah, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It, it was all right. And I'm going to go ahead and say this too. All these products got different smells. I noticed that. And I wasn't... This is going to contradict the first video, I feel like. I don't care because, see, when you're actually using a product versus when you're, like, saying, oh, this is what was sent to me and let me smell it. It's different than if you actually, like, picking a product up and putting it. You know what I'm saying? Because then the wind actually gets to it and stuff like that. And I feel like, you know, the first layer, you know, I don't know. Um, kind of get, get kind of stale, stiff and stuff like that. I'm really like true smell. So when you start messing with it or whatever, that's when you start smelling it for real, for real. Y'all, I didn't like the this line, the smell of none of these products. First off, they all smell different as hell. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. Now, this, this smell good. This smell like, I don't know, this has, this has a light smell. This smell floral, but it has a really light smell. I liked this. I could rock with that. It didn't irritate me at all, y'all. Listen. All right, so then I, then, um, I let it sit in my hair, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Try to go, try to do what this chef said to do, or whatever. Now I'm going to do the chef in my hair. First off, this chef, like I said, I shampoo twice. Chef normally lasts me a long time, and I would not have used this much. I've used not even that much. Like, it was full, and now it's here. It's to the label, basically, or whatever. I didn't use a lot. Now, with this, I can say, I didn't feel like it hydrated my hair. I felt like it stripped my hair, more or less. <sighs> Definitely more. I, I didn't feel like it cleaned my hair. Like, come on now. It's, a, it's so fake free, and it's color safe. What's in the shampoo? Let's see. It puts that like coconut oil and honey in here. I mean, yeah. No, I don't feel like this. I feel like this stripped my hair, if anything. Like, the length of my hair was dry. 
And listen, this is this is after I've done, you know, pre pooled and deep conditioned and sat in the shower for a good t five minutes to let, you know, my scalp get the moisturization of that water that was running. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was literally running, working that water in my hair before I even put this shampoo in my hair. Yeah, no, I felt like this, sh this, just um strip my hair. Would I use it again? Yeah, I use it again because it had amazing suds and everything else like that. And I like that part. That aspect of it, like I like shampoos and set up. Um, so I feel like you know, I don't know, probably this or this together will probably be able to like cleanse my strands and make sure there's no buildup on it. That, you know what I'm saying? But as far as my scalp go, I'm gonna have to use a whole different shampoo to clean my scalp because I don't feel like my scalp got 100% clean. Like, I felt like I had to shampoo my hair three times, but I didn't want to spend that much time in the shower because. Um, for some reason, for me, I like to shampoo one side and I like to shampoo the other side. The same amount of times, you know what I'm saying? I like to do the same thing to one side as I do the other side. That's why I don't really braid my hair, y'all, because having many braids I got on one side and the other side, it's just a whole hot mess. Anywho, then I use the conditioner. The conditioner, I hate it. I'm going to tell y'all why. This this just trash. All right, so this conditioner for me was that slip. All right, this, this conditioner says it... Health to repair, you can't repair no damaged hair. Let me just let me just state that right now. If your hair is damaged, you cannot repair it. Okay, if your hair is damaged, you're going to have to cut it and treat that hair properly. Okay, you cannot if your hair is already color damaged, you cannot repair it. If your hair is already heat damaged, you cannot repair it. If your hair is you know just got split ends, you cannot repair. It. You will have to cut off the damaged hair. Period. You cannot repair it. Uh, replenish this moisture uh, to your curls. And <laughs> Listen, this crap right here has a funky smell. It's supposed to smell like chocolate, but it has a funky smell, right? And uh, no, it was not no slip in here, no one there. And you, and this supposed to be for natural hair. Like, who using this? Probably people with short hair or whatever, or less hair than me, because it wasn't working for me. And I ain't about to sit here and say it was, because it, it didn't. Nope. Now, it was interesting. It was. And I was like, I hope, you know, none of this good left my hair because it still had, what, chocolate and, and you know, honey and chocolate and coconut oil and, you know, with curly hair, you know, you can't be putting all the old crap in your head because, you know, your coils may hold on to some products here and there, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Here's, here's my issue. Here's this public service and that's all these companies who are coming out with hair products. Listen, don't be putting all this food crap in y'all products. Listen, it's all good and everything to have natural products, but don't be putting all this food stuff in y'all products. Let me tell you why. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, curly hair, unless your hair is fine, unless your hair is loosely curled, all that product is not coming out, okay? Um. So with that being said, so a lot of people end up because you're still up in their hair. All of it on the be and you will be sitting there trying to add some buzz or crap by the hair. Uh huh. Ain't got time for that. Anywho, didn't like it. When it's gone, it's gone. I may not even finish using that. Like, listen. All right. Next product I used was this. I used two packets of these. Now, they didn't send me the product of this, the full size product of this, but they sent me this, this is the leave it conditioner. Listen, this is the only thing I probably, this is the only thing I would purchase. Honestly, it had slip, it had the moisture I was looking for, and it was thick like I wanted it to be. I love my products to be thick. I love them to have slip because I have a lot of hair, and I like for them to have a whole lot of, um, I like for them to be thick. All right, that was, and I used one per side of my head or whatever, but literally I was kind of, I was able to run my hands through this, like whatever it's, run my hands through my hair, whatever the case is. Now, this says it's supposed to moisturize and protect, repair. Bitch, you, like I said, you cannot repair damaged hair. That's the whole, thing. listen, you cannot repair damaged hair. Everybody out here buying stuff to help repair damaged hair, you cannot repair damaged hair, period. All right, but I liked it. It wasn't nothing bad about it. Um, I didn't really get to smell it fully, fully, but, you know, huh, it was good. 
I got more packets of those. I'm good. Now, what I really want to get to and be a whole 100% honest was this whole situation right here. The curling cream that made my hands burn. Uh-uh. I ain't got time. Listen, this is the issue that I had. This is why I said something about all the, the scents in this line. Because everything has a different scent. Now, if everything had the same scent as the pre poo, cool. If everything had the scent as one item and you didn't have all these other extra stuff going on, then cool. But every every item had different scents. You got the, the this one right here that's supposed to smell kind of like chocolate, but I don't know what it's supposed to smell like or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This one right here that had its own fragrance. This is the um what the the mask that had its own fragrance or whatever. The shampoo had its own fragrance. The pre poo had its own fragrance. All right, so that just has its own fragrance or whatever. Now whatever was in this now. I'm going to tell you just not. Um, I don't have eczema. Not that I know of. But, you know, my skin has gotten sensitive over the years. Um, or whatever. I remember I could put dirt on, dirt on my skin and it was fine. But, you know, I could put whatever I wanted to on my skin and it was fine. But now, it gets kind of irritating or whatever, right? So, this right here. This right here irritated my skin. I don't know what they got in here. But this is most definitely something I would never repurchase. And literally, I was using a little bit of this. Because I was just putting it on a little ponytail right here. Look, You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, no. Uh-uh. Would not purchase it. Not with my own money. Not, uh. And I probably wouldn't even... I probably, most likely, 100%, wouldn't even finish this. Only because... I don't like products that make my skin irritated, my neck irritated. Those are two things I look for. No, those are two of the first things I look for. When I start using a product, if I'm in the shower, washing my hair or whatever, or if I'm styling my hair or whatever the case is, I kind of, I look to see if it irritates my skin first. Because all products have a scent. But I look to see if it irritates my skin first. And then I look to see if it has the other stuff, whatever. So, the first two things I look for is if it irritates my skin or my hands, or whatever the case is, and then if it does what it claims to do, and all the other stuff, whatever. Anywho, I'm gone, because that's literally the whole line of everything I use that is important, because y'all don't even know, like, the gel I use, or whatever, because that ain't matter. 